How's it going guys? My name is Nick and I'm a professional waterman. Today, we're diving in the Barry Islands off the coast of the Bahamas. The water temperature is pretty warm at around 82 degrees. For that reason, I'll be switching between a Lycra dive skin and a 1.5 millimeter wetsuit. Our weapon of choice is a pole spear with a slip tip, which is basically a primitive spear powered by a rubber band. We got off to a quick start as we hopped in on some nice structure. While scouting the area, I caught a glimpse of a nice mutton snapper. When you're hunting mutton snapper, it's important that you don't chase them. Be patient and let them come to you. I dropped down to the bottom and lined up on the fish. On my way down, he turned around and came straight at me and turned broadside. I took my shot, which landed right behind the pectoral fin. The fish was a lot bigger than I'd expected and started to take me for a ride. I clipped my belt reel to the spear and began my ascent, making sure to keep pressure on the fish to ensure he didn't get into the rocks. After battling the fish for a few minutes on the surface, I was finally able to get my hands on him. It was a solid fish weighing around 15 pounds and I was stoked. We moved on in search of some hogfish, and as soon as we hopped in the water, I spotted one. Hogfish are one of the most popular fish when it comes to spearing in the Bahamas. I dove to the bottom and slowly approached the fish. And as soon as it turned, I lined up and took my shot. He froze for a second, then started to put up a fight. I made my way up and my buddy Elliot made sure the shot held. First hog in the boat. After swimming for a bit, I spotted another hogfish camouflage really well. I dropped down and he turned to check me out. I took advantage of the opportunity and lined up on the fish. Clean stone shot. We swap their pole spears for Hawaiian slings and search a lobster. A Hawaiian sling is essentially a slingshot that shoots a spear. Lobstering in the Bahamas is a lot different from Florida. Instead of using snares or nets, you're allowed to spear them, so that's what we did. We found a great spot and I dove down and made my approach. If you ever find yourself spearing lobster in the Bahamas, make sure you shoot him in the head so you don't tear up the meat. There turned out to be so many lobster in that spot. I was pretty sure there were more of them in the same area too, so I was super excited. I 
drop down in the same spot again and land in another nice lobster. Here. Overall, it was a great trip. We were able to add a big mutton, two hogfish, and some nice lobster to the cooler. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all of our spearfishing adventures.